person to feel the energy, to feel the atmosphere with the judge and everybody that, is, that deal with the court system. I feel very confident, you know, what I'm feeling and stuff. Because right is right at the end of the day. And I understand sometime in the court system, it can you can have all the facts and the proof. I mean, look at me in Povetkin. I had the facts and the proof and, and, and the judge ruled it in my favor. But weeks later or a month later, then we got a whole new judge which I don't know how, and then he ruled it a, a, another way. But I know was I know what went down in that. But just know, <laughs> I know what happened in that situation. But at the end of the day, we have no proof. So if you have no proof, they don't need to come out and like, hey, you. I, I know. At the end of the day, I can see their point of view. I can see how somebody um, can get that Deontay Wilder. Um, may have insinuated that um, he had no proof against a court case with Alexander Povetkin. But no, no, seriously, no, I can't fucking see it. I can't fucking see it. People are really making clickbait videos, you know, counterpunch boxing and outlaw pugilists. I gave these guys ample enough time to delete their videos. I gave them app enough time to correct a wrong and stuff like that. They're not going to do it. There's too many people in their comment section actually believe in a shit. Right along with uh, IOTBA. Uh, he's in there talking about some great video and shit like that. It's fucking clickbait. It's, the, it's, it's, it's not the worst clickbait video I've seen before, but it's, it's, it's extremely blatant. And nobody cares. They, they actually really think that counterpunch and outlaw pugilists are spitting hot fire. You mean to tell me out of that video, so the subject is the judge, right? Because Deontay Wilder starts it off talking about judges, right? Then he says, I give you an example, Alexander Povetkin. Then he tells you what the subject in a, a subject is again, judges. Corruption. He literally said, I had no proof, right, that the judge was corrupt. He had proof of the Meldonium. You know what the proof of the Meldonium was? When all those fucking scientists that Deontay Wilder hired to convince a jury to, to, to rule that Alexander Povetkin did indeed digest, ingest meldonium after it was banned. That's the proof Deontay Wilder had counterpunch boxing. That's the proof Deontay Wilder had outlaw pugilists. That's what he had. Then he had other experts. See, if you guys actually read the court case, you would know Wilder had proof. You would know that initially Wilder won. You would know they re they uh refiled, appealed under the new judge and won. Then you would know that. How do you win once without and you don't have no proof? I'm trying to tell y'all, man, these these cats these just make up anything. You really tell oh Deontay Wilder had no uh proof. That um, that um, that Alexander Povetkin cheated. He fucking pot. He's fucking pot. Fucking Deontay Wilder literally said in the video, "I had no proof." Deontay Wilder literally said this: "They switched judges after I won." And I, and I had no, and, and then they win, but I, but I would have fought it, but I had no proof that the judge was corrupt. Since I have no proof, there was no need to bring it up, but I know what it is. The, see, this is why I understand how you motherfuckers can like how people literally on this fucking earth. Can call themselves a, maybe they're not adults. Maybe they're kids. 
Maybe they're in the high school. Maybe they're in junior high. Maybe some of these guys are in elementary schools. Maybe some of these guys are in like fucking assisted living homes because they can't think for themselves. Maybe these, some of these guys are so fucking stunted that they've been living with their parents and their parents pay all their bills and shit like that and got them on disability. I don't know. But can't that many people in a fucking on God's green YouTube. YouTube. Really be so dumb to believe just anything that anybody says just because they subbed and they got a wrench. As that's that's preposterous. You guys and if you guys want to believe um outlaw pugilists or uh counterpunch boxing with this whole proof, this whole video they're talking about that Deontay Water had no proof of uh, for uh, the Alexander Pavekin case. If you guys really want to believe those guys, that's your fucking business, but you need to do some serious soul searching, bro. You need to find a different motherfucking uh, hobby, somebody, a different person to look up to, different mentor, different somebody that you want to grow up to be or whatever the case may be, because it ain't them two gentlemen. It ain't them two. Uh, you know, I don't, not, I, I, obviously I never, I didn't say one thing bad about the guys since I, since I started this video, I just call them their, their, um, their clickbait videos very highly fucking stupid. And it just shows you like people really don't fucking have no integrity when it comes to making money off of YouTube. They don't give a fuck. Yeah, they, they do. They make any fucking video out there as long as it gets them a quick buck. Yeah, you can say don't knock the hustle, don't knock the, uh, the, the the whatever, hate the game, don't hate the player, hate the game, don't knock the hustle, whatever the case may be. But y'all be y'all some silly fools. Y'all straight up some silly fools. And you know, it's 2021. We got uh Wilder versus Fury. Who the fuck cares if Wilder didn't have no proof against Alexander Povetkin? Who the fuck cares at this point? Motherfuckers really out here reaching for angles. See, reaching for angles to, to vilify Deontay Wilder, looking for angles to attack the L LDBC and vilify them. You know, it's just, you don't even, you, you're, you're so obsessed that you don't even fucking, that you're so blind that you will fucking make a video like this. So fucking blind. This shit is fucking unheard of, man. It's fucking unheard of. Crazy. It's so obsessed. Like you won't even like trust, verify your sources of information. Outlaw Puget is just going to believe counterpunch boxing, get on his shit and be like, yeah, that's right. That's right. You guys are crazy. You guys are crazy. Don't come to me talking about, oh, you don't be checking these other people and this and the third. Well, I'm talking to you. Don't worry about who I check. I'm talking to you. Counterpunch boxing. Uh, outlaw pugil. I'm talking to y'all, man. Get y'all shit together, man. It's fucking crazy. It's, and it's blatant. Man, I tell you, I tell you what, man. Um, there's been a lot of other shit being talked about Deontay Wilder's like, you know, oh, he stayed silent and this and the third. And well, what did you want him to do? It's like he fucking runs his, he's, he's, he, he's, he runs his fucking mouth. You're mad at that. He stays silent. Doesn't say anything. You're mad at that. Then you're going to say, oh, oh, uh, oh, uh, it's his job to promote the fight as a fighter. And this and the third, he needs to do what the, f do you not see the analytics on this shit? He ain't got to say shit to promote the fight. You motherfuckers are talking about him. You got Michael Benson. No, oh, you got Michael Cop, Mike Coppinger, or or whoever it is. One of the one of the mics, right? Picking the side already. Oh, Deontay Wilder is wrong, and this in the third. So what? People are talking about it. It's trending. Five minutes stare down. 
All these people on YouTube talk about there's no interest in this in this in this fight. But why the fuck are you talking about it? Why are you talking about the press conference? No interest in the fight. How come people are buying the tickets? Huh? But there's no interest for the fight. How come there were so many motherfuckers watching it on, on, on YouTube, on multiple platforms, that Fox on PBC shit wouldn't even work? It's trending, and you can't stop it. You motherfuckers are so obsessed with Deontay Wilder. You guys, you guys had fucking Tyson Fury, Bob Arum, Daniel Kinningham, Frank Warren, and Edward Hearns all trying to fucking create a coup to not fight Deontay Wilder. They were all in a conspiracy. They had a, a bona fide agenda to create something to, to decide to get Deontay Wilder out of the way. Straight up. All the motherfuckers. And they failed. All that money and they all, they, they failed. Are you fucking serious? You had Daniel Kinningham, Bob Arum. Frank Warren, Edward Hearns, Tyson Fury, doom dudes got together and created the Justice League and fucking tried, conspired to create, to create something to get rid of Deontay Wilder so they can have Fury versus AJ. And nobody's busting their chops as hard as you busting Deontay Wilder's just for not talking. Is that fucking, does that make sense to anybody? Wilder ain't talking. They all lie to you. You knew, especially how they all turned on each other and pointing the finger at each other. We all know that they knew. Tyson Fury, out of his own admission, said, no, I'm not upset that AJ fight ain't going to happen. I always knew that this arbitration thing was right there. I've been training for Wilder for like the... Then he says, I've been training for Wilder for the last six, nine months. Are you guys on dope? You, if you want to talk about proof, there's proof out there that Tyson Fury knew all this time he was going to fight Deontay Wilder. You people, people like Outlaw Pugilists and Counter Bunch Boxing, Need to get their shit together and stop making these weird ass clickbait videos. Misleading. You guys lack integrity, man. Lack integrity. You could say, oh, you got Deontay Wilders. Dig so far up your throat and this is the third. Oh, twerk Wilder. Oh, this is the third. Blah, blah. You can say whatever you want to. I'm not the one making clickbait videos. I'm not the one coming out here lying out of lying like a motherfucker. That's y'all. And it's not the first time y'all done this. Y'all it's becoming the trend for people on YouTube to lie everything, every single fucking chance they get because don't nobody know any better or they, you know what? They rather, they rather believe the lie than believe in the truth. Because the truth is highly unpopular. Whether that is the truth, the person, see, this, this is how it's going to, this right here is going to go over your fucking head. Whether it's somebody's truth. See what I'm saying? That already went over your head. You don't even know what that means. Whether it's somebody's truth. I'm going to say it again for you. It went over your fucking head.
They won't even know what that means. You know what, man? What is it? July 24th, man, we're going to get it. It's going gonna, it's gonna to get it. You know, and it's time for uh, Tyson Fury to glove up, square up, or shut the fuck up. On that note, shout-outs to LDBC, and everybody stay sucker-free.